Ben here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a quick tutorial on how to set up a Starbound server. Um, I was trying to set one up uh, a while ago, or actually about a week ago, and um, I realized that there are about no good tutorials on how to do this. So I decided to make one, show a little step-by-step -step on how to do it very well. And a lot of the other tutorials I've seen are actually quite complicated, and you don't even need to do half the stuff that's in them. Alright, so... For this tutorial, I'm not going to be showing you how to do it with Hamachi, but with Hamachi, you're going to have to do go into your Starbound Gorilla uh, Giraffe Storage, and then one of these logs I cannot remember, but it's one. I think it's this Starbound log, or no, it's in the Starbound server log. And you here, let me open it for you. This the um this Starbound server log, and you go down to. Oh, this is my log. Never mind. I'm sorry, guys. That's my. That's the log. Um, it's it's one of these files, but you have to change the IP address for it. But if you're right, if you're um, if you're just setting it up with a port forward that's already on your router, or you have to set a port forward up, then you can um, uh, it. I'll show you what to do then. Um, I'm not going to be showing you how to port forward because there are plenty of tutorials on the internet on how to port forward a router, and most of them are quite similar. Um, if you have a Time Warner cable, AT&T, Comcast, Linksky router, whatever, it'll be extremely easy to find any tutorial on how to make how to port forward those. Um, the normal port you use for port forwarding is 21025. That is the normal Starbound port. So, to begin, um, all you have to do, really, is navigate from Program Files, Steam, to Steam Apps, Common, and then roll down to your Starbound folder. Open up which file on uh, which version of your system you have, it was six, a Windows 64 or Windows 32. I have a Windows 64 computer, but whenever I try to launch the Starbound server over here, it crashes for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. But after you've done that, all you have to do is launch the Starbound server. And this actually will take a little while, so I'll be back when this is finished. Now it's finished, but um, as you can see, if you scroll up, I'm going to show you how ex easy this was. The um, the software already scans your router for port forwarding, so if you have a port forwarded, you don't have to set it up. All you have to do is launch the server, which is actually what I really like about this. When instead of Minecraft servers or Terraria servers, where you have to put everything in, ports, IPs, and stuff, which isn't that hard. It's just this just takes it one step further in making it easier on making a server. And uh, normally, the, I would um, what I would do is uh, since I, for these kind of servers, I would only have maybe at the maximum eight people play on them, yes, depending on how strong your internet is. Because it's a port forwarded account, uh, like port forwarded on your own router, it might cause your house lag if you have more than that, um, d depending on how strong it is. If you're going to have a whole server set up, don't do it on your computer. Actually, buy a dedicated server. To do these kind of things, so um, if that's what you're thinking about doing, I would suggest buying a dedicated server. Um, for the next part, all you have to do is hop on your multiplayer and put in this IP, which is a local IP for every address, uh, 127.0.0.1, and that's the local IP. That's how you can connect to any server on basically anything. If you're trying to set up a local Minecraft server, you want to connect to it without you know you just want to connect with this is the one you'd use so you just click join server and then you're already in that that's basically it um uh, one last thing if you're trying to get your friends to join this though you would have to give them your public IP address so they could connect to it with well you, with the port if you change the port on setup um to do that, you can just look up what's my IP or go to whatsmyip.org. It's very simple on how to do it, and you just look it up and you can find it. Um, it won't be inside your uh, con like your CMD or whatever. That's your internal IP, and you don't want to give that away to your friends, or they might kill you.
or, or DDoS, you get either, either one. But, uh, other than that, it's basically for this tutorial. I mean, show you the American flag in the background, or the, the British flag, or this thing. I like that thing. Or, 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 or I could just go cry while I shock myself. I, I like that idea too. I also like meat and revolvers and uh, f flashlights. When I shoot my revolver, I, I burn my flashlight out. My my flashlight, cause cause I cause I love myself. But only at night. And and if it's not at night, I'm.